On a freezing winter day in 1642 in Lincolnshire, England, a tiny baby named Isaac Newton came into the world earlier than expected. His mom once said, He was so small, he could have fit inside a quart mug. But things changed when Isaac was just three years old. His mom had to leave, and Isaac ended up living with his grandma. When he turned 12, he went to the king's school. But his mom returned and said, You have to take care of the farm. No time for school. Isaac replied, No, I don't like working on the farm. I want to go to school. Luckily, a kind schoolmaster stepped in and convinced Isaac's mom to let him go back to school. In middle school, Isaac faced bullies. Guess what? He got back at them by becoming the best student. He also made cool stuff like sundials and windmill models. At 19, Isaac went to Trinity College at the University of Cambridge, but he didn't become a star student right away. In 1665, the school closed because of a sickness called the bubonic plague, and Isaac went back home for two years. One day, while he was enjoying tea under an apple tree, an apple fell. But it didn't hit his head like the rumors say. Isaac wondered, why should that apple always descend perpendicularly to the ground? Why should it not go sideways or upwards, but constantly to the Earth's center? Assuredly, the reason is that there draws it. There must be a drawing power in the matter. And that was the beginning of understanding gravity. Later, he called the time away from school. The prime of my age for invention. Back at Cambridge in 1667, Isaac dived into his studies and became a math professor, making a big impact on the world of science. He wasn't just an expert on gravity, he also explored calculus, which is like a special math language still used by smart people today. Isaac was curious about light too. He thought that white light was made up of all the colors of the rainbow. This idea helped him make better telescopes using mirrors, giving us clearer pictures of space. Even telescopes like the Hubble Space Telescope use his clever idea. But Isaac's genius didn't stop there. In 1687, he wrote a book called Philosophiae Naturalis Principia Mathematica, or just the Principia. In this book, he shared three important rules about how things move. Isaac also worked at the Royal Mint, making sure coins couldn't be copied. He was very interested in alchemy and wrote a lot about it, however, he kept it a secret because it could destroy his reputation. He also had thoughts about the end of the world but said it wouldn't happen before 2060. Here's a funny story, Isaac's pet dog, Diamond, once accidentally set his lab on fire and burned down his notes from 20 years of experiments. Oops! Isaac sometimes stutter when talking to a crowd, but that didn't stop him from being one of the smartest geniuses ever, did it? In 1816, a tooth said to have belonged to Newton was sold for £730 as $3,633 in London to an aristocrat who had it set in a ring. Guinness World Records 2002 classified it as the most valuable tooth, which would value approximately £25,000 US$35,700 in late 2001. Who bought it and who currently has it has not been disclosed. And that's the end of the incredible story of Isaac Newton, a tiny baby who grew up to be a big genius and changed the way we see the world. His ideas are still helping scientists and making us wonder about the amazing things in our universe. If you like our video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you and goodbye.